Hey everyone, this project is to try to make a better microphone holder that is better suited to my desk. The clamp that came with the stand doesn't have enough bite to be secure on the rounded edge of the desk. Also, the bottom is right at the edge and overall doesn't have much surface area. This makes for a clamp that is forever loose, not to mention there isn't a good way to rotate the entire stand within the clamp. My monitor stand came with two types of brackets, and since I used the one that mounts through the wire hole of the desk, this chunky style clamp was left over and I thought it would be perfect for a new microphone stand clamp. The idea is to take this aluminum round stock, be able to mount it to the clamp, and then use a bearing to allow the stand to move around smoothly. First, I need to measure and cut a slice of the round stock. Facing cuts are always the first lathe operation to be done. Next, I'm drilling a through hole in the center of the part and tapping it with an M8 by 1.25 size thread. As a side note, I really do like this deburring tool. Anyway, this threaded hole is going to serve two purposes, the first of which will help me mount it to the clamp in the centered and static position so I can mark the position of the three mounting holes. Another side note, transfer punches are also really handy to have around. I added a little bit of sharpie just to make the punch marks more visible. Now that these are marked, the first function of the center hole has done its job and is no longer needed. Now I just need to drill and tap the three mounting holes.
Those with a keen sense of observation will notice that I ended up with six holes. That's because I used too big of a drill bit for the M5 by 0.8 size tap and the mounting screws wouldn't grab. This isn't that big of a problem though, since this face will be mounted to the clamp and no one will ever see it again. I guess the lesson to be learned here is that as long as you can cover up your mistakes, it's as if they never happened in the first place. This next sharpie mark is going to be a guide for adding a shoulder to the top of the bottom part of the mount. The head of this cap screw is larger than the smaller race of the bearing I'm going to use and smaller than the larger race, and can be screwed into the center of the part, making it perfect for measuring the size of the step needed to raise the bearing off the part surface to prevent binding. Not much material needs to be removed for this to be effective, so it was a quick operation. Next, I'm just using the M8 hex head bolt to hold the part in the chuck for some finished sanding. And with the bottom of the part finished, I need another slice of aluminum for the top part. Facing cuts naturally. And now I'm going to be center drilling a 12.5 millimeter through hole in the part. This size will accept the male mounting part of the microphone now. I'm also opening up one side to create a press fit space for the bearing. With the drilling done, it's just finishing work at this point. I'm adding a quick bevel to the top just for fun, and then doing a little finish sanding to match the bottom part. With the machining on the top part done, I thought it would be a good time to press the bearing in. I'm also using a bit of green Loctite for some extra moral support. I also wanted to add a set screw to tighten the microphone mount into the top of the new part. This will ensure that any movement is taken up by the bearing and there isn't any slip that could otherwise wear out any of the parts. To lock the microphone mount in place, I'm using a small M6 by 1 size set screw. The last thing that needs to be done before final assembly is shaving a smidge off the diameter of the head of the M8 cap screw so it will fit into the center hole of the top part.
At this point, this shows the second and more permanent function of the M8 tapped hole in the center of the bottom part, as it will be used to attach the top and bottom parts of the new mount together. Now, I can both attach the bottom of the new mount to the clamp and assemble the rest of it in place. As you can see, the assembled mount will provide a solid mounting of the microphone as well as the flexibility to smoothly rotate its position. And that's it! The new mount installed is much nicer and more secure than the cheap clamp that came with it. Thanks so much for watching. I always appreciate comments. Be sure to check the description for links to things that I use, hit that thumbs up if you saw something you liked, and be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. And P.S. I did use this mount to record the narration for this video and it worked wonderfully.